Club Express Blogs. A weblog, more commonly referred to as a blog, is a regularly updated website or web page that's typically written in an informal or conversational style. Club Express includes a powerful blogs function that allows knowledgeable club or association members to publish periodic articles of interest. The system maintains a history and allows readers to easily navigate through all published articles. Email subscriptions allow readers to subscribe to a blog feed so that they're notified when a new blog entry is published. A search function allows users to find blog entries that discuss a specific topic. There's a full set of blog management and authoring tools, including a content editor that allows blog authors to create rich content that includes formatting, images, videos, links, and other features. In the Club Express model, an administrator or blog's module coordinator creates a blog and then hands it over to the blog author to manage. Although blog authors can view and administer their own blogs from a link in their profile screen, blogs are generally accessed via a choice on the menu. This displays a tile for each blog available to the current user. For non-members, the screen only shows blogs that are flagged as visible to the public. Blogs flagged as member only are not shown unless you're logged in. Let's log in as a club administrator so we can view and edit all of the blog activities, including blogs that are not yet active. The Blogs Policy button in the top right corner views this club's or association's policies regarding blog posts and comments. Clicking the Read Blog link or icon lets you read the most recent entry for the blog. The blog entry is shown with its title, author, and the date and time that it was posted. On the left side is a column showing recent posts and an archive of older posts. They're organized by month and year. Click any entry to view that post or a month and year to expand that group. You can also click on the little menu icon in the top right corner to shrink the blog archive panel down to a minimum width or click it again to expand it back out to its normal size. Click the subscribe option to subscribe to this blog using your email address. The system will pick up a member's email address automatically. For non-members, a small dialog is displayed to enter the email address that you want to use. The system will send you an email whenever a new blog entry is posted, and each email includes a link to jump to the screen, as well as a link to unsubscribe. You can always stop a blog's email notification at any time by clicking the unsubscribe button for that blog. If comments have been enabled for a blog, click the view, leave comments button to view the comments or to post a new comment. To add a comment, enter your handle and a comment text, then click save to post your comment or cancel to cancel without posting. The search blogs button lets you locate text in any or all of the blogs. Enter the text you want to search for, and optionally limit the search to a particular blog, or limit the search by entering one or more tags. Then click the search button. When the results are displayed, click the view icon to jump to that blog post. Blog authors see two links in the upper right corner, edit post and add post. The edit post link displays the grid for the current blog that lists each post in descending date order, showing the post title, visibility status, date of publication, and how often the post has been viewed. Note that when this screen is viewed by administrators or blog module coordinators, a special panel is displayed at the top allowing them to select a different blog to view posts. A few buttons are available. Add Post lets you create a new post, and we'll come back to that shortly. Edit Blog Properties lets you modify the author, title, description, status, and visibility of the blog, and whether or not comments are allowed. Search Blog Post displays the same search screen that we showed earlier. The Subscribers button views a list of members and non-members who have subscribed to the blog, and you can optionally unsubscribe a member by deleting that subscription. There are a few options in the Maintain column. You can view this blog post. You can view and edit the comments posted on this blog entry. The Share icon lets you share this post on your club's social networks. This icon only appears if the blog post is flagged to be visible. If you want to delete this blog entry, you'll be prompted to confirm the action. Deleted blog posts and its comments will be completely removed and cannot be recovered. And you can edit this blog post by clicking the pencil icon. You'll see the screen used to add and edit blog posts. So to create a new blog post, click the Add Post button. You specify the title for your post, any tags that apply to it, and whether it should be initially hidden, perhaps because it's a draft, or immediately visible. 
If you choose to make the post immediately visible, you can also specify the date that should be assigned to the post. That's either the original creation date or the date that you're making it visible, say today. You enter the blog content into the Club Express Content Editor with its available tools for creating web content, including formatting and layout tools, the link builder, and the ability to insert photos and videos. Then click Save to save your new blog post or cancel to close the dialog without creating a new post. Clicking the Share This Post icon lets you share the blog post on your club's Facebook page or Twitter feed. At the top of the screen will be one or more checkboxes representing the social networks where your club has a presence and that are defined in the Control Panels, Communications tab, Setup section, Social Networking screen. Note that when you connect to each service for the first time, you'll be prompted to authorize Club Express to generate posts in your account. This process is handled slightly differently by each service. For more information, see Appendix G of the Administration Manual. The text dialog will depend on which social network or networks you've selected. Facebook allows up to 300 characters and Twitter up to 120. So enter whatever text you need to communicate the details to your audience, then click the Share button to post this blog to your club's social networks. Click the Comments icon to view and edit comments. Comments are listed in descending date order, and click the Edit icon to modify a comment that might be inappropriate. Click the Delete icon to remove it completely, and you'll be asked to confirm this action. Click the Edit Blog Property button to modify the settings of your blog. You can modify the title, author, and the description of your blog, whether comments are allowed, and whether you should be notified when a comment is posted. You choose who can see the blog and whether it's currently active. If the visibility field is set to closed, no one can see it, even if it's flagged as active. There are two ways for administrators and coordinators to manage blogs. When viewing any screen in the Blogs function, click the pencil icon in the Page Tools widget on the right side of the screen. Or on the Control Panel's Communications tab, click the Link or Pencil icon to access the admin side of the function. The grid lists each blog that has been created, showing the title, author, visibility, public or members only, the status, active or closed, and the number of posts. Clicking the Add button lets you create a new blog using the same Add Edit dialog we looked at a few moments ago. After filling in the fields and clicking Save, the new blog will be created and the author will see it in his or her blogs list even if the initial status is inactive. Authors can modify the title, description, visibility, active status, and whether the comments are allowed. Click the Blog Options button to modify the default options for all blogs. You can specify whether non-members can post comments and whether blog authors can enter custom tags or must specify from the list of master tags. The Edit Policy button lets you edit your club or association's policies regarding blog posts and comments. You'll see a pop-up dialog with a simplified version of the standard content editor. The Maintain column has icons where you can edit the properties for each blog. You'll see the Add Edit screen that we described earlier. View the posts for this blog, and you'll see the Post Manager we showed earlier, including the ability to add a new post, edit or delete an existing post, modify blog properties, and manage the comments linked to a specific post. And of course, to delete this blog, including all posts and comments. Blogging helps keep your club members engaged with timely information from the musings and wisdom of knowledgeable authors and provides an easily searchable archive of previous posts. Now you've seen pretty much everything you need to know to create and administer your club's blogs and content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.